The sun is up! It's time to wash, little ones! Hey, hey, look! This is my favorite part! <laughs> rock a bye, baby, on the treetops! How are you doing, Nanny Sam? I still don't move or speak! <sighs> Seems like I failed in the chicken parenting! No, no. Give them more time, and we can parent a little dinosaur while we're waiting! Holy cannoli! You've been hiding dinosaur eggs from me? Unexpected! Haha, <laughs> you wish! Ours will be grown out of clay! It's even better! I like new grass! Little ones, Mommy Sam will be right back! Hi, guys! Do you want to have a cute little monster in your house? Let's make a baby version of Clombo from Fortnite! Where are they? I brought them new toys! It's too soon for playing, our baby hasn't even hatched yet! This foil will help us create a shape of an eggshell. Then we need more foil! Clombo babies are pretty big! That's right! Let's keep kneading and flattening the lowest part. There you go! Susie, check this out! Oop, oop, I've made a fried egg! <laughs> this color suits an eggshell more. It fits here perfectly! We'll wrap the clay around the foil. Oh, hush, baby Clumbo. Soon you'll transform into a healthy clay little monster. <laughs> Step away and I'll cut off the excess clay. Let's see. Okay, but the eggshell should turn out accurate just like mine. Or maybe a little bit better. Did I manage to fulfill your request, Sammy? Just a few finishing touches! We should extend the crack lines a bit further! And now it looks more authentic! See? You can finish it! Sure thing! Ugh. Be right back! Guys, you might be wondering why our baby Clombo is still missing! Hop! Here is bright pink clay and a wire for a body frame! We should measure the proper amount of wire! There we go! My turn! You know I'm the best wire wrecker among slimes and humans! Here we go! Ugh, bend here! Fold in half! All done! Sammy, you never disappoint me! Since we have a torso, I'll cover it with pink clay! Buy the mozzarella! Clombo is pink too? Guys, will I look like a daddy? I have to get ready! <laughs> you should have a vivid imagination for that! Guys, we can layer the clay on the frame as much as we need! And smooth it down! From now on, nobody would say we're not related! Hmm, never mind! Clombo, your dad is coming! <laughs> if you don't mind, I'll add one little piece here, guys! Just like this! Wow, that's really something! Oh, I can't believe our little baby is developing right before our eyes! Soon it will demand some real food! What do Clombos eat? I did my research! They can be fed with clomberries! Interesting! But I doubt we can find them in a regular store! I'm up! Then you have some time to find its snacks while I'm working! Come on, Mother Hen! Um, are you sure it wouldn't like such a clomberry? It looks yummy! <laughs> Bring something better! But Sue! What do we have here? Oh! I found a cookie! Here you go! Ouch! Shiver me chatters! Hey, it helped! Right you are, Sammy! <laughs> we still have to figure out how to grow other limbs for it, so stay tuned! An apple? No. Maybe a cupcake? Nope. <laughs> a burger, then! <sighs> ah, Susie, I give up! Maybe our Clombo isn't hungry yet? So we can turn to our old-fashioned clay method. Besides, we still have a few limbs to make. Oh, you're gonna blend two colors! Are you gonna use that thing over there? Bingo! And this is what we've got! I've measured the right length for the next limb, Susie! Here you go! Repeat those steps five more times! I can do it! With some magic! 
Thanks for the help! Let's proceed! Now I'll put the limbs in the right position. We need to make a few creases and one more bend. Sue, I should resemble Clombo too! After all, I'll be the first thing the baby will see! <laughs> then you certainly should look convincing! But I'm sure the baby will love me anyway! It will hug you with all his limbs! <laughs> <laughs> Sue, I brought you more parts! Here you go! And thanks for cheering me up! Buy the mozzarella! I want to help baby Clombo stand on its feet! Let's do it then! You or you'll freeze out there! <laughs> this piece of net fabric wasn't supposed to be a blanket. It'll create a slightly uneven skin texture. Oh my feta! You grew a really thick skin! Being a parent isn't easy, especially if you have a baby monster. Oh, would you just look at it? Holy cannoli! That baby is absolutely harmless! You think so? Careful now, we're making his glowing sharp eyes. Oh, that's right! Those eyes start glowing flames when Clombos are furious! I should be alert! Ooh, our baby Dino is showing its rebellious character! <laughs> what if it is better at mischief than you, Sammy? Oh, really? Then let's see how fierce it is! Try me! Come on, come on! Yeah, come on! I'm right! Here! Uh-huh! You're not Ah! It was just a joke, right? It's not going to attack me, huh? Until it will start shooting acid balls like in the game, you're safe. Phew! Okay, okay. What? Acid balls? Sue, you're not helping at all! Guys, now this baby Clumbo can observe the world around it. That's cool, right? Let's make nostrils so it can find some clumberries to chew. Maybe you could recognize my smell too? Here, I brought Clombo my favorite hat! You're so cute! I'm sure we'll lick your face to show its gratitude! Woohoo! Then what are we waiting for? Here's some red clay for ya! Clombos have long, lizard-like tongues. It is quite easy to make one. Let me see, Sue! Like this? Nah, make it shorter! Okay! That's better! I think it came out just right now! Clombo, say ah! Good dino! First selfie! First selfie! How should I stand? Maybe like this? Let's do it! Stop mocking me with this tongue, young thing! Clumbo is just waiting for his teeth implantation. Oh, it finally started growing first! Ew, they're already so greasy! What can I say? Dinosaurs and Clumbos don't tend to use toothbrushes. Did you hear that? Let's see how it looks in reality! You're gonna like the result, guys! Actually, I taught Clombo some dino fashion rules! It wouldn't learn how to wear those. Let's see… Head decors without me! Cool, right? It means that we're moving to the final part! what you've got there, Miss Susan! Listen to me! Now we'll join our clay forces with the pink ones! Sir, yes sir! Aha! Guys, do you like when Sue listens to me? Give me a ton of thumbs up then! When you're finished attaching pink clay, carefully remove the excess. Now I have everything ready! Ah! The oven is preheated to 110 degrees Celsius! I'm almost done!
A drop of transparent nail polish on the eyes. And a little bit of it over here. Now comes the finishing touch! Here you go, Columbo. Sit in your fancy crib. Guys, let's check out my first dino baby! I'm so excited, Ah. Shiver me, Cheddars! Two are missing! They may have hatched while you were gone! Congratulations! Does that mean I have triplets in one day? Whoa! <laughs> Let's have a look where we are! We're in South Africa! Oh, how exciting! Let's see if we can make some new animal friends! <laughs> South Africa has so many wild animals. Lions, giraffes, hippos, crocodiles. And this is one of my favourites. It's a lovely lizard. <laughs> oh, I think I'll call him Larry. Larry the lizard. Hello, Larry. <laughs> Larry has just given me an idea. Let's try something. Try making this fantastic looking lizard using bubble wrap for a really great effect. Let's make it! Bye, Larry! We'll need a mini maker to help us. Let's see if there's one nearby. <laughs> Hello, mini makers. Now, who's going to help me today? Hi, Mr. Maker and Prince. Oh, hello, Prince. I can help you. Oh, that's good news. Everyone else, thank you very much. <laughs> oh, fantastic. Prince is on his way to help us make our picture. But first, we'll need somewhere to make it. <laughs> Excellent. The marvellous maker case has become a marvellous making table. Now we just need some arty things to make our picture. We'll need... some paper or card. Some paint. Some round things to draw around. A glue stick, some scissors and some stickers. Paint brushes. Bubble wrap. And of course, last but not least, we'll also need a biscuit. A biscuit and, and a half-eaten biscuit. We don't need this. Scraps, it's you. What are you doing here? Oh, really? Take this biscuit back and see if you can find me a pen, OK? Right, off you go. Oh, oh he's gone. Ah, oh, here we go. Well done, Scraps. That's just what we need. Thank you. Bye. We've got a pen. Excellent. We've got everything we need. <laughs> uh, although it does feel like something is missing. Mm. Do you know what it is? No, I don't. Uh, have a look. Oh, uh, no. Hi, Mr. Maker. Of course, Prince, it's you, my friend. Oh, it's lovely to see you. Thank you so much for coming. You're just in time to help me make our picture. It's a dotty bubble wrap lizard. Now, Prince, this can get a little bit messy. So it's a good idea to put down some old paper or some newspaper first, and I think we should put on some aprons. So follow me, my friend. <laughs> <laughs> we look excellent. Now, are you ready? Yeah. Excellent. Mm. Are you ready? Fantastic. Let's get making. Now, Prince, you will have noticed that our picture has lots of colourful dots on it. And to make them, we're going to use this stuff here. Bubble wrap. It's covered in bubbles because it's used for protecting things. Ask an adult to help you find some. I think you could do some painting for me, Prince, so let me put this in front of you. Hold on to that. 
Now you're gonna paint on this bobbly side here. Okay, Prince, get painting. Good work, Prince. Make sure that all of the bubble wrap is covered in bright green paint. And I think bright green dots will look really good on this lovely yellow paper. And now I'm going to take the bubble wrap, thank you, Prince, and place it on top of the paper. Push down. And if we peel away, Prince, what do you think we're going to get? Like dots. A lot of dots, like this. Now keep printing to make dotty prints in other colours and leave them to dry. And now it's time for us to draw whatever is in our picture. There's a dotty lizard and dotty circles. So, Prince, let me find you something round, like this sticky tape. And why don't you make some circles? And this will be the lizard. It looks really good if you draw different parts of your picture onto different colours of printed paper. So, we've got lots of colourful dotty circles. We've got some lizard legs and a lizard's body. We need to cut these shapes out, Prince, but we must be careful because scissors are... Sharp. That's right. All of our shapes are cut out, Prince, so let's put everything in its place. When you're happy with your picture, glue everything into place. We've added lizard eyes using stickers and a black pen and trimmed off all the edges of the circles to make the picture neat. And if you enjoyed that bubble wrap fun, why not try these other ideas too? How about this lovely ladybird with giant bubble wrap dots and a pink sticker smile? Or you could even try a spotty dog with a red and yellow collar and bright dotty flowers. <coughs> Why don't you try one of those ideas today? Thank you so much for helping me, Prince. We made it! High five! <laughs> what a brilliant bubbly lizard. Well done, Prince. Bye! Oh, I love it here in Hong Kong. I've had such a fantastic time. Oh, the maker phone's ringing. Excuse me. Oh, it's Toki. Ah, it's minute mate time in South Africa. Thanks, Toki. I'm on my way. Oh, here we go. we're going to make today. Let's have a look. Ah. Ah. Oh, hello. <laughs> Let's have a look over here. Oh, I've spotted it, my friends. Look at this. The rarest of all creatures, the plastic spoon creature. And we can make one of those by using these arty things. Let's have a look. Two plastic spoons. We've got one, two, three, four pipe cleaners, some stickers, and a pen. Now, do you think it's possible to make this plastic spoon creature in just one minute? No way! Well, I think I can. I'm going to have to be very quick. But don't worry, I'll remind you how to do it at the end. Are you ready? Yeah! <laughs> good, good. But are you ready? Fantastic. Let's make it in a minute. Three, two, one! Start the clock! Well, the first thing we're going to do is put our two spoons together like that so the spoons are facing away from each other and then we're going to use a pipe cleaner to fix them together like that. So we just wrap it round. That's looking good. And now we get another pipe cleaner and we're going to make some legs like this. We just wind them round and then bend them into leg shapes. OK, there's two legs. We've got two pipe cleaners left. There's some more legs. There we go. Now, our plastic spoon creature is going to have six legs. 
There we go, very wiggly legs like that. That's it, bend them into shape. And now we're going to get some stickers and we're going to draw some dots in the middle like this to make the pupils of the eyes. There we go, and now we can stick these stickers on to the front of our plastic spoon creature. There's one. We've just about got enough time to stick this on. There we go. We've made a plastic spoon creature. Yay! Yeah! <laughs> I did it just in time. But if you have got more than a minute, you could try all sorts of ideas. How about a multi-coloured spoon creature made with spotty stickers and a curly pipe cleaner tongue? Or what about this fabulous orange scorpion with a fork for a tail? Or you could even try a baby spoon creature with beads for eyes on pipe cleaner stalks. Ow! Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Here's a reminder of how to do it. Let's go back to the beginning and take another look. Twist a pipe cleaner around two plastic spoons like this. Twist three more pipe cleaners around the spoons to make legs. Add two white stickers with black dots for eyes. And your plastic spoon creature is finished. Why don't you try and make it in a minute? Thank you so much, everyone, for being part of another marvellous Minute Make! Yeah!